Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. So Ripper reaching us right now and allegedly is that um, Olori actually um, uh, fainted in the sacred forest of Odua as the truth about um, Queen Naomi and the Oni of Ife. And, you know, um, the bed of Tadeni Kawu was revealed to Olori Ashley. We heard that she had cried to um, the sacred forest of Odua to tell them her pain on how she has spent like her entire life loving and adoring the Oni of Ife and all the beautiful things that she has brought to the table and how much she loved the Oni of Ife. And you do know that me, Del, I will always also talk about the fact that I think that Ashley actually loves the Oni of Ife. I don't know that a lot of you don't like it when you hear that come out of my mouth, but you know, truth must be said, of course, that I feel because that is what she portrays, okay? But that's not to say you can measure her love with any other person's love. Whether she loves the Oni of Ife doesn't change the fact that the Oni of Ife loves Queen Naomi. So whether I say it or not, it's not going to change anything, okay? And so they said she went to the pal um, um, the sacred forest of Odua, as it is rumored, and um, with family, they went with um, so many things that they were supposed to use to do rituals and appease the god um, prior to the big Olokun festival that happened two days ago. And um, say that they, uh, they express their dissatisfaction actually cried a lot talked about um the gross lack of emotion from the monarch and all of that that she feels as though she is in that relationship all by herself that she how unhappy she is in the relationship and all of that um they now pacified her because they have so much respect for her she is the only woman who remembers them who is always going to the sacred forest of Udua to do rituals also and you do not know that the local people love the fact that that you you commune with them you always go to you know give um um you know respect to um those uh, 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 give them respect okay and so that's exactly what happened but with all of that they said something actually happened in the forest that uh, uh, made all the difference that uh, one of the most um uh, respected um, um, custodian right there, the, the big man that came to the palace the other time that if the palace was shaking everywhere, sat Ashley down to run Ashley through history and to let her know um, um, the connection that is um, 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 between Oni of Ife and Olori Naomi. And when that man was true, they say Ashley could not believe it, that when she got up, she fainted. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dela Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy jays from the south and still on the royals. Dela right, my Dela right, my Dela right, my super people. Dela right, my Dela right, my Dela right, my super people. How are you guys doing? I hope you are fine. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you saying thank you to you. Can never be overemphasized. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the depth of my heart. I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So they said that they had to run Ashley through history to let her know where this um, thing between the Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi came from. Now, here is the rumor we got, as um, I heard. They said they started telling her how it all happened. They said that um, when Oni of Ife, Adeye Ye, Enitan Ogunsi, um, was elected, you know, as um, the Oni of Ife, okay, you know, a lot of things happened during that stage that um, Oni was received at the end of Ife, Ibadan Expressway. For those of you who are from there, I don't know. They said he was received. Um, um, at the end of Ife Ibadan Expressway, um, uh, he, uh, he entered um, Ife in the day after his name has been announced, okay? And they say um, um, the second ride was he uh, went to Busi Rolling House to be installed as the Soko, okay? Now, according to Ife tradition, he must first be the Soko of his family before he mounts the stool of Oni of Ife, right? Now, um, the third one, they said, um, after his installation as Soko, the Oni, you know, had to be head of the Obalufe Palace to perform right 
at the Oronto River inside the palace. Now, so there is um, a palace that is called Obalufe Palace, you know, in Ilefe. So he had to go there uh, to perform right at the Oronto River that is inside the palace. Then after that, he, pro he had to proceed to um, a forest in Ilesha Road for another round of rituals, okay? Now, and after that, the fourth one he did, they said um, uh, uh, he had to go into seclusion in Ilofi for a minimum of 21 days. That is, he went into seclusion for 21 days in Ilofi. Then, while he was in that seclusion, they said he met an old woman, okay, in the spirit to receive the power left by Odudua. Now, this very Oni of Ife, the Ojaja the second, they say he is special. Like he is special. That his um, uh, star is a special one from bed. Like he has always, always been made to be great, a king. That is why you see that, you know, um, during that period, they said there were 47 princes who came to become, um, who contested that position he won. You know, his older brother contested with him from the same father, the same mother. He won. Now, usually all the um, um, princes who will become the owner of Ife, they'll go through this traditional procedure. And they will also go into seclusion for 21 days where they will go into the spirit where they will meet an old woman in the spirit who will give them the power that was left by Odudua. Now, they said that Oni of Ife, when he went um, to that seclusion and now went into the spirit, where he was gifted the power that was left by Odudua, they gifted him a woman. Now, this goes back to the same reincarnation that, you know, what has been mentioned in the course of this drama. They gifted him a woman, and the woman came with a son. And that woman is the same Olori Naomi that um, uh, 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 they have been talking about. Now, um, after that, you know, um, um, the Oni of Ife came back, and, you know, got um, initiated to Isoro, Isoro um, initiative or um, traditional stuff, okay? And uh, then the seventh one was that he, I don't know, something about Lohu, a red domi of Ilefe, or, or, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to call that. So he had to go through one point to the other, one point to the other. Then they said when he got to that point where he had to go into seclusion for 21 days, the seclusion is not just um, meant for only of if they a day a day a day say anything that that seclusion is meant for anybody who is made the only of if. But when you go into that seclusion, what you expected to get from um, that woman um, is the pot that has the power that was left by Odudua. But this time, because Oni of Ife's star is different, when he went, he was gifted that pot that has the power of Odudua, but he was gifted that pot with a lady and a son. And that son, that is in the spirit realm, that son was Queen Naomi, and that son was um, uh, Tade Nikawa. Now, the correlation is what I don't know because Queen Naomi believes in God. The last time I checked, she is still a prophetess and all of that. But, you know, the spiritual things you never can tell. So right now, as we are hearing, they said that was how this whole thing came about. Now, they said in the forest, why um, um, uh, Auntie Ebony fainted was because they explained everything that, you know, Every woman will go except Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi is a woman that came with the Oni of Ife. Yes, so that Queen Naomi happens to be the woman that came with the Oni of Ife. That Queen Naomi is going to be the last one standing, no matter how much they try. And they said this did not go well with her. 
she was so, 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 so devastated, so that after they finished, she tried to stand up, she fainted, and that was when the Kitty Kata Kitty Kata movement started. So it's a good thing that they are beginning to see that this has a spiritual undertone. This is not something that anybody can just make to go away overnight. It is something that has come to stay, and it is something that has to be. Now, if everything we keep hearing on social media is the truth, this is the information. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.